Hello, this is Tom Seidner, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a web application that you've developed and deploy it to a web server so that you can make it available on the internet or within your local network. So in this example, I'm going to be using .NET for my web app. This is a little web app that I wrote that allows you to put in checks and deposits and keep track of your balance and show you in a grid. I'm going to run it real quick just so you can see what it actually looks like. Now this is not running in a web server. This is just running in a development uh, web service that comes up through .NET, but it gives you a chance to see what the application looks like in a browser. So it's actually just using a uh, web server that it brings up on its own. And once it comes up, you'll be able to see what the app looks like. I just want you to see that it will look pretty much the same whether you're running it in this debugging mode or running it in the actual deployed server. So here it is. Uh, you put in a check number, let's say um, 1234, a check amount for, let's say, $54.67. And uh, we'll add the check. It adds the check here. And deducts from the balance. If you want to do a deposit amount, you can do like $300 and add a deposit, shows the deposit, and adds it to the balance. And that's it. It's a very simple program, but it is a web application and it's something that I'm going to be able to deploy. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, just shut this down and stop our application here. And we're going to move on to the important parts of this video, which is how to deploy this to a web server. Now, the web server that we're going to use is going to be IIS, but this would be similar to other web servers that you would be running. So this should give you a good idea. My IIS has already been installed on this machine. You would need to make sure that's installed. Uh, if, um, if you need uh, information on that, I have another video for that. But once the IIS is installed, it's going to create some folders on your uh, drive that you installed it on and those are going to be under the inet pub directory and under inet pub you are going to have www root and under www root is where you're going to place your folder that you want to deploy your application in so i want to deploy my application in a folder let's just call it a check app so i'm just going to right click here i'm going to go new folder and I'm just going to call this check app just like that so now I have a folder to put my deployed web application in the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that this folder is part of the IIS and available to run applications within it so I'm going to uh, minimize this I'm going to go into my internet information services manager bring that up when I bring that up, I'm going to see my um, server here. I'm going to expand that. And underneath here, I'm going to see my sites. And I'm going to expand that as well. And then I'm going to see my default website. That is that www root. I'm going to expand that. And under here, you're going to see some application folders that I've already set up. And you're also going to see my check app application folder that I just created. Now, one thing to note you do want to make sure that your application pools are set up correctly. You need to do this one time and only one time, but you need to make sure it's set for the version of .NET that you're going to use. So I'm just going to check mine here. So view application pools, and you can see that my application pools, especially my default application pool, is set for version 4.0, and that's the framework that I'm using. So make sure that if you're using a version like 4.0, go back and check this because this may be set to something like 2.0 and you want to change that in order to change it you just double click on it and right here it'll let you select the framework but I don't need to change anything in mine mine is correct yours may not be correct so you may need to change that the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the folder that I made and I'm just going to right click on it and then I'm going to do convert to application this is going to go ahead and set up your uh, website to use the application pool uh, whichever one you want you can change that but I usually use the default it's also going to set up the physical path and everything so then you're gonna say okay and when you say okay it's going to change the icon from the little folder to the web app thing here so that way you know that this folder is now set up to be able to handle a web application 
And that's it. That's all you have to do in here. So we're going to get out of here. We're going to go back to our Visual Studio here. And first of all, we are going to look at our application. Now, when I created this application, I created this as a blank application. So I had to actually add um, the uh, main ASP file here. So what I did was I just right clicked on here. I went to add. And then I selected web form. And when that web form came up, it defaulted to web form one, but I changed it to default. And the reason I changed it to default is because when you deploy this app, it will automatically, when you pull up the browser, it's automatically going to pull up default.asp. If you don't have a default.asp, then it's going to pull up nothing, or you're going to have to say, I want to pull up webform1.aspx. And I find it much easier just to change my main screen to default.aspx and then I don't have to deal with that. So I'll show you that a little later, but that's something to note when you're making something with this. So uh, now that I've got my uh, application made, I've got my default.aspx. I also have my folder set up to deploy in and I've also got it set as a web application. The next thing I need to do is deploy. Deploying is quite easy. You just go up to build. You go to publish your application. Mine is called Bank App, so mine says Publish Bank App. I'm going to select that. We're going to select a custom publish, so I'm going to click on custom. You have to give it a profile name, so I'm just going to call it Bank App. You could call this anything. It doesn't really matter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it what type of uh, publish method that I want to use, and I want to use a file system pub publish method. So there you go. And then it's going to ask me for a location. I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to where I set up my application and that is under INET pub again and then www root and then of course check app. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to hit publish. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and build this application and then it's going to take all the files for this application and it's going to put it into that directory. So I'm going to go here just to show you. I'm going to go to check app and you can see here is my program along with my default ASPX which is going to get pulled up. Now in order to, to actually pull this up and I could do this from either this local machine or from any machine on my network, I'm going to bring up a web browser. The next thing I'm going to do is put in the host name of my machine. So I'm going to go HTTPS colon slash slash. And then the name of this machine that I'm on currently is dot net TSIDE 01S. And then I put a slash. And then I'm going to put in the folder of the application that I want to run. Now, if I just did a slash, it's going to run whatever is in that www root directory that is your main directory and you need to make these subdirectories because if you don't make a subdirectory then you won't be able to run multiple applications on this server because the server has one IP currently and you need an IP per root and since I only have one IP I'm running all of my applications off of the root so I am running them as subs on the same IP and so I have to put them in a, in a subdirectory if I wanted to add multiple IPs to the server, I could just do uh, each IP with a host name and then just run it like this and run and deploy everything into the root, but that's not how I'm doing it. And that's probably how, not how most people are going to do it. So anyway, the name of this application was check app. And then I put a slash and I don't need to put anything after that because I use the default.aspx. I'm gonna hit enter. It's going to whir for a second. And here you go, my app is now running on this uh, machine. Now, uh, just to show you that this actually can run from an external machine, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this machine. I'm actually remote desktoped to this machine. So I'm just going to minimize this. I'm going to bring up a browser in this other machine. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So.
and you can see that it is deployed out there and I'm running it from a totally different machine and I can do everything here that I did in the original. Now going back to this remote desktop to the actual machine the server is on, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. I'm going to show you one other thing. One other questions that it's asked me several times from students is what if my development environment is not on the same machine as my web server. Well that's pretty easy. All you have to do is and go ahead and set up the stuff on the web server on your server then go to your machine that you're developing on go to um, that machine that you're developing on and make a folder there somewhere. It doesn't have to be anywhere special. I'll just go ahead and make it on the C drive but I'm gonna make it here so new folder and I'm gonna call that check app and then I'm going to do my deploy the same way. I'm going to build, publish. I'm going to uh, set it up new because it's um, not going to be the same place. So I'm going to um, back up here and just change my file location. And I'm going to change it to where I created that file, which this would be on your development machine. open I'm gonna publish it to that directory which it worked and now I'm gonna go into that directory which is right here and I'm gonna see that all the stuff got copied into there just like it did the other time but this time I'm just going to zip this and then I'm going to take this zip file and I'm just going to upload it to a box or email it to myself or something and then I'm going to go over to the machine that actually has the web server I'm going to double click on this and then I'm going to copy this folder and then I'm going to paste it into my folder for my web server which is for me inetpub www I paste it here it's going to tell me that there's uh, already a folder here so I could merge it if I didn't want to merge it uh, or I didn't have the folder yet, I could say uh, go ahead and copy it and then I could go into IIS and turn that folder into an application folder. And that's how simple it is. So uh, if, you, if you're if you not on the same machine with your development system and your web server, then you can just uh, deploy it to your local machine, zip it, copy it over, and then set that up as a web server deployment area. And that's it. So it's fairly simple to create an application with um, Visual Studio create a uh, web server area in IIS, and then publish that item to that area. Well, if you guys have any questions, as always, put the questions in the comments below or email me, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Until I see you guys again, happy computing.